You're probably wondering, Mr. Salis, why haven't you made another exam update video? It's over a week since the government said, hey, remember we said we weren't going to have exams? Guess what? We're going to have exams! Sort of, with like many little things that teachers may be able to do, maybe not. Well, I got depressed about this, is the real answer, and I just thought, I don't care about the views, I don't care about the advertising revenue, I'm just fed up. But I've started to look a bit more closely at it, and there is a chink of light. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. It is a consultation. We can actually change the future. Well, maybe we can't, but I'm flipping frustrated, so I'm going to try now. I'm going to show you how you can get your voice heard, how you can tell the government what you think, and maybe, maybe they might listen. So here we are on Ofqual's page. I will put a link in the description down here. Scroll to the bottom and fill in your details. So here we go. To what extent do you agree or disagree that the grades awarded to students in 2021 should reflect the standard at which they are performing? I do agree with that. This bit up here says that should be a broad range. I strongly agree with that as well. Common sense, like it. To what extent do you agree or disagree that the alternative approach to awarding grades should seek to encourage students to continue to engage with their education for the remainder of the academic year? Yeah, that's got to be good. You don't want to be starting A-levels or BTECs or whatever without the right subject knowledge. So yes, we should work to the end of the year. Otherwise, education is pointless. Well, there are quite a few of these questions. Let's bash through them till we get to the exam proposal bits. I'm really against the idea of introducing extra exam papers. Like every year 11 in the country will have done mock questions. And if we introduce a narrow range of exam papers, then students of equal ability could get wildly different results based on whether they were around for studying that text or that particular topic in whatever subject. So no, I think that's too narrow a focus. I think you'll get really dodgy results that way. If you were going to have exams, then they ought to be meaningful, in which case you'd do the full papers. And then everybody would be able to be assessed on what they actually know and don't know. But this doesn't assess everybody on what they know or don't know. It just assesses people on a really narrow range. I think that's a dumb idea and will lead to inaccurate results. So I'm not going to support that at all. So no, I don't want a set of papers. Do I think it should be compulsory or optional? Yeah, we'll go with optional. If people teachers feel the need that they want something extra, that's fine. To what extent do you agree or disagree that any papers provided by the exam boards should include questions that are of a type that's familiar? So although I disagree with these exam papers, if we are forced to use them, how can I make them better? You would want students to be able to answer them easily, so they've got to be familiar. To what extent do you agree or disagree that if teachers use exam board papers, they should have choice about the topics covered in the questions their students answer, for example, through choice of which papers they use for their students. I guess you've got to hope that if they impose these exam questions on us, which I feel is coming, then at least if you can choose the ones that your students know best, you're being as fair as possible to your students. So I'm going to allow the choice. I think that does make sense if, if we're forced to have these papers. Teachers should be required to assess either by these exam board papers or other evidence, a certain minimum proportion. Yeah, totally. You can't just say someone's got a grade seven because they can do it in one topic, but they can't do it in another six. So I'm strongly agreeing with that. To what extent do you agree or disagree that teachers should mark any papers? This is sort of a workload question, but it's also how should exams be marked questions? I mean, with the best will in the world, if I'm marking my own students, I want them to do well, I'm bound to give them higher marks than an impartial observer. So asking teachers to mark their own students is just dumb. In fact, there's no point having the exam. You might as well just say, please grade your students on what they've done during the two years. No, that's a stupid idea. Cue the music. To what extent do you agree or disagree that teachers should take account of a student's performance in any non-exam assessment? Yeah, well, obviously they should take account of everything the student's done. Well, fascinating though my opinions must be, who cares? You want to do this survey yourself if you want to watch me. 
Let's stick it on a time lapse and cue the happy music. Oh, there's an interesting question. If the preferred option for private candidates is an exam series, should any other students be permitted to enter and sit the full exam? Well, yeah, why not? I mean, no one would have to, but if somebody wants to because they've really revised hard and they think that their work so far doesn't reflect what they can do, yeah, absolutely they should be allowed to. Which students should be allowed to enter? any student who wants to take the exams. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> <sighs>